how to install awaken os based on android 11 on the redmi k20 pro or the xiaomi mi 90 pro hey peeps what's up manchi here back with another video and in this video i'm going to show you how you can install awaken os based on android 11 on the redmi k20 pro or the xiaomi mi 90 pro those of you who want to have a look at the features of Awaken OS, I do have a separate video for that, which can be found in the pinned comment on this video. Next up, what are the prerequisites for this video? Well, you need to have an unlocked bootloader and you need to have TWRP recovery installed. How do you do that? I have separate videos for both of those, which can be found in the description of this video. Next thing, make sure your battery is charged at least 50 to 60%. Do not do this process if your battery is at 20 or 30 percent. Also, make sure you have a backup of all your pictures, videos, and anything important which you have on your device. Because if you run into any boot loops, encryption issues, we are going to do a format data from TWRP recovery. In which case, you are going to lose all your pictures, videos, and anything important which you have on your device. Now, as you can see, I do have the Redmi K20 Pro, and right now I am running official MIUI 12.0.3.0 based on Android 10. However, in case you're running a custom ROM, the steps are the same. Just skip the steps which are not applicable to you. And the first thing we need to do is we'll go into settings and then we'll go into password and security and remove your screen lock, fingerprint and face unlock. Once that is done, you can go back, scroll down, go into me account and remove your me account. Now, those of you who are on custom ROMs based on AOSP, you will not have the option of removing your me account next thing go into accounts and sync and remove your google account once you have removed all the accounts and security measures make sure you reboot your device once why are we removing all the accounts and security measures we're doing this because we're going from one rom to another and i don't want you to be locked out of your own device next thing you need to know is whether your device is encrypted or not so for me ui you'll go into settings password and security privacy and you will see encryption and credentials as you can see my redmi k20 pro right now is not encrypted those of you who are on custom roms based on aosp you can go into settings and then you'll go into security select advanced there it is you can see encryption and credentials for my pixel 3 right now says encrypted so based on the fact whether you are encrypted or not you need to download disable force encryption which brings us to the question that what are the files which we need now all the files which we need are linked in the description of this video so for starters you need awaken os the rom itself and i am using the build which comes with google apps baked in then the second file you need is the vendor plus firmware for your variant of the redmi k20 pro or the xiaomi mi 90 pro how do you find that out I have a separate video for that as well which can again be found in the description on this video and if your device was not encrypted again if your device was not encrypted you need disable force encryption if your device is encrypted then you do not need disable force encryption next thing we need to do is boot into twrp for that the first thing we need to do is turn off our device and once the device has turned off we need to press and hold volume up and power button at the same time till we see the twrp boot logo so once we booted into twrp we'll go into wipe advanced wipe and select dalvik cache system and data that's it those are the only partitions you need to select dalvik cache system and data do not and i repeat do not check the vendor partition and once you've selected all the partitions swipe to wipe once that is done tap on the home button go into install now you need to navigate to the folder where you have downloaded all the files in case you downloaded the files on your phone directly they will be in the download folder my case i have transferred them manually so they are in the sd card root directory the first file which we need to flash is the vendor plus firmware for your variant of the redmi k20 pro or the xiaomi mi 90 pro then we will select add more zips and select the awaken os android 11 rom itself and as i mentioned earlier i'm using the build which comes with google apps baked in and if your device was not encrypted or decrypted you also need to select the disable force encryption file once you have selected all the three files all you need to do is swipe to confirm flash once all the files have flashed successfully 
we can scroll up and make sure that everything was in fact flashed without any errors so here it is we are flashing the vendor and firmware we can go down and we should have a script succeeded result was one here it is for the vendor and firmware next up it is flashing the awaken os file itself and as you can see patching system image firmware and script succeeded result was one and last but not least for disable force encryption make sure it is patching some f stab in vendor slash etc and now we can tap on the home button now what if there was no f stab patched by disable force encryption then you can go into mount mount the vendor partition and then flash disable force encryption one more time next up all you need to do is go into reboot and select system however if you run into any boot loops encryption issues you can boot back into twrp by pressing and holding volume up and power button at the same time while you're in the boot loop till you see the twrp logo and then you can go into wipe format data type in yes and then click on the check mark button on the bottom right of the keyboard as i mentioned earlier format data will result in wiping out of all your pictures videos anything important which you have on your device so make sure you have a backup of all those things for now we are going to skip that step go into reboot and then select system and bam there it is you can see that we have the awaken os boot animation on our redmi k20 pro which means our device is booting into awaken os based on android 11 and the first boot up will take some time so you have to be patient and now that we are on the setup screen let me skip the initial setup real quick and now that we are on the home screen we can first go into settings and then we can go into security and you will see that encryption and credentials says phone not encrypted which means disable force encryption was flashed successfully we can also go into about phone and now if i tap on the android version you will see that we are running android 11 and the rom is awaken os the version being 1.2 one and there it is peeps that is how you install awaken os based on android 11 on the redmi k20 pro or the xiaomi mi 90 pro and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you